Right now, lawmakers are tackling major topics from COVID-19 to police reform. 13 News Now reporter Nico Clemens shows us what to expect. Republicans and Democrats are laying out their top priorities this special session, the budget and COVID-19. But tonight, police and criminal justice reform are at the forefront. It is long overdue, and I'm glad that we're finally able to come into a special session to be able to handle this. The Virginia Legislative Black Caucus plans to introduce legislation to hold police accountable, prevent law enforcement excessive use of force, and continue the fight for criminal justice reform. Democrat Jay Jones represents part of Norfolk. He says for years, the VLBC has worked to enact change. This is something that has gone on for far too long. What we've seen across this country over the last several months has been tragic and devastating, and this is our first step here in Virginia to make sure that an incident like George Floyd does not happen here. Meanwhile, House Republican leaders say a lot of what they've seen proposed is going to have a negative impact on Virginia. House Republican leader Todd Gilbert says threats to defund police, making it easier to assault public safety professionals, releasing violent felons early and adding more burdens to already struggling businesses are non-starters with their caucus. I think it's really difficult to tackle any sort of substantial policy issue when it's this close to a presidential election. Republican delegate Amanda Batten, who represents part of York and James City counties, doesn't want to rush any major policy decisions. We need to be very cautious about how we how we go about any sort of criminal justice reform initiatives. It's legislation that's taken center stage across the country and here in Virginia. And now lawmakers must decide what's best to move the state forward. In Richmond, Nico Clemens, 13 News Now.